What's up guys? Coach Carrie and Alex here going over our workout for you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is our skill accessory work. We've been working on pull-up and ring dip strengthening. Um, so what we got for you guys tomorrow is we're going to do three to four sets in 17 minutes for you guys to kind of filter through these uh, stations. First station is eccentric pull-ups. So how this would work is either if you're strong enough to do a strict pull-up, great. If not, you can do a jumping pull-up. However you need to get to the chin over the bar position, and then you're going to slowly lower. So let's say you don't have your strict pull-up. Get up, jump up, turn over bar, count three seconds. One, one thousand, two, down. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, down. And then back up. So you can either do a strict pull-up back up, or you can go back to a jumping pull-up, which is getting that chin over the bar, and we're working on this portion of the pull-up. So three seconds down. So you guys can do five to seven of those. Next, we're going to do 8 to 10 dumbbell push press with eccentric um, as well as countdown. So you're going to do a push press up and then slow lower, 3 seconds, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and then up. We did do these a couple weeks ago. If you do remember what that weight was, um, maybe you can take it a tad heavier. Um, and then so all of these are going to be helping with that strengthening portion. Um, the next is 5 to 7 kipping ring dips. So we did eccentric ring dips last week, now we're going to work on the kipping ring dip. Um, the best way to do these uh, for beginners is to um, obviously hopefully you have a strict uh, ring dip if um, once you do you can start working on that kick so you're going to slowly lower all the way down and then you're going to that was strict that's not strict yeah, okay yeah. <laughs> so best one here he's a lock his arms and keep his legs straight until his bicep touch the rings which he's kind of got the rings a little too short short so you can aggressively drive his knees up and kick down so for Alex, it's probably better to have the rings higher, where he's going to come down, biceps, and then drive his knees up, and then aggressively kick and press at the same time. A couple more, down, up. Good. And you can start getting into some fun, uh, whatever you want to call that. Okay, so, um, so kicking ring dips. Again, like I said, keeping those legs straight until you get to the bottom. So really, these rings should be a little bit higher for him. So when he's in the bottom, his legs are straight, and then staying tight, driving his knees up, kicking down. And then um, last, we got six to eight heavy dumbbell tri extensions. So we had them these a uh, couple weeks ago as well. Maybe go a tad heavier, so you notice he's going down as far as he can, and then pressing up, bending at the elbow. All right. Um, so have fun with that. Our workout tomorrow is called Bum Buzzle. It is a 23 minute time cap. We're going to do a couple set uh, different rounds here. First is three rounds of 12 doubles press. You guys are going to have one dumbbell. I'm sorry. To start, you're going to 20 pull ups. You're doing 20 pull ups. You've been working on kicking pull ups. So if you guys can just start keep working on those kicking pull ups or those butterfly pull ups, uh, just to break this down real quick. Uh, kipping. I'm really going through that uh, Superman position to hollow rock here. And then what Alex is gonna do is he's gonna drive his hips up to my hand and then basically drive his hips up, take his feet back, and then pull up. On the butterfly pull up, he's doing a kipping pull up, but he's like kind of falling through. You don't wanna think about falling super far forward, but more straight down, keeping those elbows in front of the bar, and then really using his legs at the bottom to swoop up. So here's like swoop. He's swooping the hips up, he falls through, swooping the hips up and falling through. So, uh, do you get your kipping before you do those? Otherwise, you get all messed up with everything. So, kipping pull ups first, then progress to butterfly. So, 20 pull ups to start. Then, you guys can do three rounds 12 doubles press. So, burpee, chest to ground, pop up two feet, get in a good safe position, snatching that weight overhead, transferring it to the other arm. And then, 12 alternating pistols, so single leg squat. You can use a box for assistance here. There's a band that you can use. You can kind of hold a some rings. Um, so your way of uh, modifying those, 12 alternate pistols, three rounds, then you guys can do another set of pull-ups, and then three rounds of alternating dumbbell power snatch from the floor. So it's keeping that weight nice and close. You'll notice it is bending at the elbow and carrying that weight all the way overhead. So uh, 12 of those, another set of 12 alternate pistols. Three rounds there, 20 more pull-ups, and then the very last section is uh, dumbbell alternating lunge. So holding that dumbbell however you'd like, 12 total lunges, and then 12 alternating pistols. So it's gonna be a super fun workout. We hope you guys can join us. Um, again, these are the months to join, March, April, May. We have that great uh, incentive with uh, whoever joins 
Chateau is to be entered into a raffle to potentially win a full year paid in full by ITAC and Roman sponsoring that. So super awesome for you guys as members. If you refer anybody and they join for a month, um, we will comp your next month's membership 50 bucks and you also get $50 for Noble, which is an awesome brand. Um, we buy a lot of our shoes from there. So lots of fun stuff. Um, we're about to open, we're in week two. Everybody, it is super, super awesome, so much fun. I look forward to this week. Um, so Thursday at 5 p.m. they'll release that workout. You have till 5 p.m. tonight to input your score. So make sure you guys do so. Um, we love you guys and hope you have a wonderful start of your week. Bye guys, love you.